Today we are making a video on Amabuntus Debian Edition 5 RC1. Here is the boot menu of Amabuntus Linux. Here are the languages you need to choose. You can choose uh, this available languages here. And other option is the utilities. You can go check this out too. Let's go back and boot it in a live mode. English. You can choose uh, the booting style here like uh, the live mode or uh, by installing directly from here. It's always a good idea to boot it in a live mode then uh, install it later. Try without install or install it uh, using Calamaras. Try Imabuntu without installing. Fail safe. I am going to choose the first option. It's going to take a maximum of a minute to boot up or a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds to boot up. So I'm using it on a VMware uh, which is virtualization uh, with a 40 GB of hard disk and a 4 GB of RAM with the two processors in it. And it should take a few more seconds. And here is our loading screen of a Debian Edition 5 m one Test, which is Alpha 1. I already made another video uh, today because I post two videos daily uh, which was like a Manjaro Linux 22.0.5 uh, uh, KD Plasma version. Uh, so if you want to check that out, you can check that out. The video should be available in a few seconds. So it's taking a few more seconds because I already told it's going to take a minute to load up a maximum. So you need to have some patience here. Just wait for a few more seconds. This is the alpha version. So you need to remember that too. Uh, which should take uh, a lot of time to load up. Any second we should be having our desktop layout. Almost done I guess. Here are some info you can read. We should be having our mouse pointer right now. Let's wait for a few more seconds. Here is a Umubuntu Debian Edition 5. I think it's almost done I guess. Just a few more seconds left still. And we should be having our logo or the desktop layout in any second. It almost like a 30 to 35 seconds already. So let's wait for a few more seconds I guess. Sometimes the video should be like uh, available in 360p because uh, it's uh, not from me, it's from the YouTube uh, because the video should be processing in uh, uh, YouTube so you will be having sometimes like a 360p so you need to wait for a few more seconds and you will be having a 1080p 60 frames per second of my content there so it's not my problem, it's with the YouTube processing not every time it's going to happen uh, occasionally. So here is our desktop. Let's change the display resolution first. I'm using it on a VMware so it automatically changes the display resolution. If you're using a, on a hard disk installed, so you need to manually change the settings uh, by going to settings, display settings or a manor, monitor settings. So here are the two options available, switch to LXQT desktop uh, environment or uh, continue under XFCE. I'm going to choose the XFCE desktop environment right now. You can choose switch uh, to LXQT if you want. So I choose that option. Here is our logo or the wallpaper. Currently your keyboard map is uh, United States. I'm going to choose uh, keep because I wanted United States or a US English. Here are some desktop configuration you can change if you want. I'm just going to use the default and how. Please select the dock version which best fits your needs. I'm going to choose the all because I want all the applications for the sake of the video. This is simple for newbies and my dear old aunties. This is funny. A basic is for children and very beginners. I'm going to choose all because we need everything. So I think that's the option and here is the welcome screen. Uh, the username for the uh, live mode is Amabuntus and the user and root password are both live. So this is the password for the live boot and the root. So let's close this thing and open the system monitor because we need to know how much resources are consumed before opening any apps. Let's open the application menu or the menu. 
let's change this thing and go to system the system monitor should be available in the system which is a task manager let's first check the resources here uh, processes running right now are 276 memory is almost 30 percent uh, which is a 1.2 gb of 3.8 gb let's check the version also of the task manager because some people need that 1.5.5 and here are the processes running right now almost 276 which is uh, said here so as you can see the graph of the cpu is uh, at the beginning it was like a high peaks and occasionally it is high peak uh, right now this table is almost like a 16 percent somewhere but it is almost crossing 35 percent and here is the ram as you can see a swap is 250 mb so let's close this thing and open the terminal for some desktop uh, distro info uh, let's find the terminal here which is a xfce terminal you can use any terminal you want let's check about which is a 1.0.4 let's type in few commands like a inxi-sv8 we should get all the desktop info or distro info host is mubuntus and the kernel is 6.1.0-7 uh, arch 64 bit compiler gcc version 12.2.0 and boot is lime mode the xfc desktop version is uh, 4.18.1 the latest version is uh, 4.18.4 so gtk version is a uh, 3.24.36 or 36 you can call it and light dm version is 1.26.0 xf wm version is 4.18.0 uh, distro is based on debian linux uh, bookworm 12 which is the latest uh, and I think it's in a development still I already made a lot of videos on Debian tool uh, bookworm if you want you can check it out in my channel and the RAM is uh, 4GB uh, I used 4GB for the VMware and it's almost 1.2GB which is almost 31.5% and here is my CPU info if you want you can uh, go through this so let's scroll it down and here are some uh, uh, display resolutions available Display is X11 and XArch version is 1.21.1.7 uh, uh, XFWM version is 4.18.0 Picom version is 9.1 uh, What else we left still? I think let's scroll it down And we should be having some more info OpenGL version is 4.1 Mesa is 22.3.6 Let's scroll it down again INXI version is 3.3.25 systemd version is 252 and uptime is 5 minutes processors running right now are 248 uh, bash version is 5.2.15 so let's type in few more commands it's the same command from the top command but it's uh, divided in sub which is INXI as you can see let's type in INXI-B these are the same info which I read from top so let's type in another command which is inxi-g you can type in like this or you can directly type in inxi-sv8 for the desktop info or distro info let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and it's a debian new linux 12 and imabuntas debian edition 5 so let's type in hstop hstop is also available uh, are uh, pre-installed in the Mubuntu Linux. The memory is almost 773 MB of uh, 3.82 uh, GB. Task are running right uh, now is 73. So these are the some info available from the distro. The version I already said. So let me take you to the official website by launching the Firefox browser, and I'm going to show you how to download the. Uh, Mubuntu's desktop D Debian edition 5 uh, alpha 1 the Firefox browser should take like almost uh, 20 seconds uh, minimum to lo launch up here is uh, our Firefox web browser launched the version should be like a triple one because it's the latest version uh, we, get, we are getting a 102 version here which is old 
I thought we, we should be getting like a latest version but no uh, the search engine is something else let's type in search with Google which is Amabuntus change it to English I'm using a VPN so that's the problem with the VPNs let's uh, change it to English and this is a website Amabuntus.org let's open the website this is the website or the URL you need to use it which is mbuntus.org uh, we need to change the language because I don't know the French I guess I think that was the French I'm going to choose English here we have English you can go through this if you want if you just uh, care about the downloads just click on downloads or if you care about the news you can go with it I'm going to download the distribution here are the available links for the download uh, the 4 was the recommended or the stable version but these are for testing again if you want to test it on a uh, if you want to test the Debian edition 5 you you need to use it on a VMware because it's a good idea if they have bugs it's going to ruin the PC so it's better to go with a VMware or a unused PC you can call it and again if you are a normal user it's better to stay with the stable version which is a 4 because I don't want to ruin your PC uh, it's better to uh, use it on a VMware or a unused PC or a not a, uh, your main PC or a work PC because it's going to ruin your PC so use it on your own risk I am going to warn it again so here is the 64 bit version and uh, here is the 32 bit version as you can see there uh, the best part is like uh, that is uh, available 32 bit also is available for that and uh, here is the version it's also mentioned with a red uh, text with, that is unstable version so it is a risky one so the file size for the 64 bit is around 4 GB and the 3.5 GB for the 32 bit so I'm going to choose the 64 bit version and it's going to open the source forge and here are the downloads the file size is around 3.6 GB but they mentioned 3.9 GB and you already know 1.1024 MB is a 1 GB so it's going to change uh, this is the 3.6 GB file so I think that's it here is the download and the, there was the website so let's close this thing and let's check the apps which comes pre-installed so let's scroll it down so these are all the apps which comes uh, pre-installed with uh, Amabuntus Linux because we chose all the apps in the beginning uh, while setting up the desktop we choose full featured so there should be all the apps available for uh, us here so these are from the full setting as you can see let's go with the sub uh, use parts like this on the accessory, accessory side you will get all these things on the Kyra dock on the development, education, games, graphics, internet and the multimedia these are all the apps available in the multimedia no free software office and the science these are the settings you can customize anything you want it's clearly up to you and this is the system the system related uh, apps will be here and this is the wine uh, for uh, other cross platform apps so I think that's it let's uh, check the XFCE version which is uh, 4.18.1 the latest version is uh, 0.4 so let's go with the installation process I'm just going to show you the installation process I'm not going to install it let's open by double clicking on it you wish to install the Amabuntus Debian Edition 5 you can choose the installation style I'm just going to choose the classic installation if you want you can wait there and read uh, for the full info 
uh, instead of waiting for the installation process let's check out the rest of features available here as you can see the logout options all that thing calendar uh, volume and the internet connections and this is the battery or a power option and here is our installer opened and the default is Calamaras installer the Calamaras installer process should be same in every Linux store the installation should be same the version is 3.2.61 click on ok first you need to choose your language which is quite common in every Linux distro uh, of the installation I am choosing uh, American English there are plenty languages available choose anything you want next you need to choose your location no need to use your original location or actual location you need to give any location you want. I'm using a VPN so it's going to automatically choose uh, Singapore as always. Uh, I'm choosing Los Angeles here. You can choose the uh, pointer or you can use this like this. Uh, setting your uh, location. And these are some uh, customization if you want you can change it. Click on next. And here is our keyboard. Choose your language. It automatically put to put me to English US and uh, it is using generic 105 mine is a Dell keyboard but it automatically gives this generic 105 key PC and it works for me so this is the uh, keyboard available I'm choosing English US as a default click on next it's going to give you the partitions uh, settings I'm using a 40 GB of uh, hard disk so it's uh, uh, showing here as a VMware Virtual S 39.99 GB and uh, you need to be very careful while choosing this option because uh, it's going to erase everything if you choose erase disk and it will boot into you uh, give you the single boot option here uh, if you erase the disk it's going to clean everything like a delete or format everything like a media player documents all these things media all important things so be careful and you need to have an idea of what you're doing here so choose the specific option of your need and the manual partitioning is for the dual booting or uh, you can resize the partitions and uh, choose the dual boot option and uh, you can boot it like a uh, alongside with a uh, windows or other operating systems uh, which are uh, your main operating systems like that so i'm going to choose the rs disk and uh, giving the default options here if you want you can encrypt for the security more, more security you need to provide the password in the both the boxes the same password and write it down the password uh, so you don't forget it and here is the bootloader location you can install it later or choose other uh, uh, system partitioning all that things I'm going to choose the default and the best option and click on next uh, you need to provide your username password for this uh, for the PC security uh, I'm going to choose the username you don't need to give your actual name you can give any uh, username and password so everything is going good so if everything is going good it's uh, uh, the tick mark will be available here if it's wrong it's going to show the into mark or a cross mark you can call it uh, you need to give the strong password and for the sake of the video I'm choosing the uh, simple password and write down the password so you don't uh, scratch your head for the password if you forget the password so login automatically without asking for the password use the same password for the administrator account if you want you can change the administrator password by unchecking that I'm using the same password right now for the sake of the video so click on next that's the process of a uh, uh, user there and here is the summary of uh, what you choose in the previous uh, installation process so first the location I choose the Los Angeles location and the language is uh, American English and here is the keyboard uh, uh, settings I choose and the partitioning I choose the RS disk completely so this is uh, in summary it's going to show you uh, what you choose there and this is the process uh, happens after you click on the install button it's going to do all these things so uh, wait there and read everything if you want after clicking on install it's going to take a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or a minimum of 5 to 10 minutes depends on your PC and uh, the ISO file or the Linux distro after that it's going to show you the finish uh, button you need to click on finish button and you need to reboot your uh, system 
uh, in order to boot your uh, Linux distro, which is uh, Mubuntu's. If you choose the LS disk, it's going to boot it in a single more uh, single boot. Uh, if you choose the manual partitioning, it's going to give you option of uh, both the operating systems which you used or uh, which you installed. So that's the process of installation. So let's close this thing. Uh, let's change. Uh, let's try to choose see the settings. Some of the settings like a desktop wallpaper. Here are some available desktop wallpaper. Not plenty of wallpapers. Just a few wallpapers available here. Let's change the wallpaper. Here is the menu icons. Let's uh, check the home button because we need to know the file manager version. The file manager is Thunar. The version is 4.18.4. This is the latest version of XFCE. Let's close this thing. And the about panel, which is also 4.18.2. Uh, here are some customization you can go through all these things which is also pretty much uh, uh, available in uh, every XFC desktop environment or the older Mubuntu uh, uh, distro all these things you can customize on your own I don't need to show that all these things let's try to open some important apps and uh, end the video like office uh, LibreOffice which is an important app for some uh, people who work with the documents uh, and uh, presentation like that if the store is available let's open the store here is our software store instead of opening all the apps let's better open the software store and check the versions there the library office version is 7.4.5.1 which is not the latest version the latest version is 7.5 so let's close this thing and open the software manager there uh, which should be named as a software the software manager or a software app should take a few seconds to open so instead of waiting that let's uh, try to see some of the uh, available apps here the package manager uh, version is gdb version is 0.9.5.7 let's close this thing Let's open Snaptic system, Snaptic package manager if it's available. It's also available here. The version should be like a 0.91 like that. Let's see. Yes, the latest version 0.91.3 or 91.3. Let's drag it down and see the installed packages. If you want to slow it down, you can slow it down in the YouTube settings. Uh, and change the settings to 0.25 if you want to slow it down it's almost pretty much slow already I'm going to scroll it in a fast way so let's drag it down or drag it up let's close this thing again it's going to take a few more seconds so instead of waiting let's check out other apps other important apps uh, here is the PC information I uh, already showed all the info in the beginning of the video so no need to check that and here is the time shift backup appearance I think it should be some themes uh, like that available themes are these are the things themes available not the things sorry for that uh, you can customize anything you want if you want to scale the uh, text or font size if you can't see that you can change the 2x uh, which should be good for the 1920 into 1080 it's going to pop up like a bold fonts uh, bold uh, icons so I think uh, we left uh, anything these are some apps I don't want to open every app because it's going to take uh, hours for that so it's a waste of opening every app and showing you the version is 43.4 let's see the installed version and uh, we'll get an idea of uh, what are all the installed apps these are all the pre-installed apps which I already showed so let's check the updates if uh, there are updates it's going to take a lot of time because uh, it is a software manager and it's a GNOME software manager you already know the uh, time it takes on the accessory side 
did we left anything there's nothing important here activation activation and deactivation activation so education we got uh, like gimp all these things gimp version will be like a 2.10 and the inkscape version should be 1.2 like that on the internet side <coughs> falcon web browser the web browsers are available for the movement tests are like a falcon firefox uh, i think that's it and the mail may for the mail client it's a thunderbird and these are the updates available right now system updates are available here as you can see and the installed version of the apps let me quickly open some of the apps and check the version audacity should be like a two point something like that the version is 3.2.4 and clementine uh, 1.3.1 1 .1. and the calibri caliber a uh, version is a 6.13.0 dark table a 4.2.1 let's just open the important apps that's it and end the video and here are the installation style a version is 22.12.1 of falcon a filezilla a version is 3.63.0 game should be 2.10 point uh, something like that let's scroll it down 2.10 point 34 or 34 you can call it g parted version 1.3.1 and g thumb image viewer these are the versions of the apps because i don't want to open every app and uh, show you the version because it's going to take like a lot of time and it's a waste of time to 1.2.2 no one going to wait for that to that much of time Karen live that's also the important video editor for the Linux 22.12.2 uh, I already opened the library office so no need to show, show the version I'll execute image 1.2.0 uh, I think that's it let's check the pigeon version too 2.14.12 I think we covered everything I guess let's uh, quickly see the Thunderbird uh, 102.9.0 and VLC media player also 3.0.18 which is the latest version uh, let's check the wine version also which is 8.0 repack I think that's it let's close this thing and uh, let's check the system monitor and check the uh, resources consumed after opening all these apps and you will get an idea of how much resources are consumed uh, the memory is almost 2.1 GB at the beginning of the video it was like a 1.1 GB or 1.3 GB I don't remember properly if you want you can uh, put it side by side on the YouTube uh, for the uh, exact uh, RAM consumption on your own uh, you will get an idea of how much resources are consumed it's almost already 2.1 gb so it's not for a 2 gb ram uh, linux distro uh, pcs uh, if you are using a 2 gb of ram it's not uh, for you because it's almost 2.1 gb just for a few apps uh, launch so it's up to you it's going to be very laggy and i'm using a 4 gb of ram it's uh, a bit of lag for me not too, too much it's uh, a little bit of lag for me here and there and here are the processors running right now if you want that too if you want to compare it you you can compare it by side by side putting it side by side uh, in the YouTube so let's close this thing and end the video I think uh, I'm going to show you the my channel this part is only for the viewers who want to watch my content daily without subscribing uh, people who already subscribe you can just skip it skip the video uh, if you want to watch my content just type in youtube.com forward slash r slash 925 linux 
this is not the url just uh, i'll remove this this is the url you need to use it in your web browser if you're using tv tab or a mobile uh, if you're using a browser in it so you need to use uh, this url if you are using a youtube app in a tv or a monitor uh, uh, you know i'm i was saying about like a mobile tab or a more what do you call it a tv if you are using a youtube app just type in 9 to 5 linux it's going to take directly to my channel let's click on enter i'm using a vpn so it's going to take a few seconds to launch my channel or open the channel so always remember this url if you already subscribe no need to i'm not going to force you it's up to you if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you don't want it's clearly up to you it's your opinion uh, it's your opinion i'm not going to uh, change that so if you are here for the only linux content go with the playlist and you will see a linux uh, playlist here under linux playlist go with the view full playlist it's going to show you all the available uh, linux videos here i almost cover like uh, 70 to 80 percent of the different types of uh, different types and various types of linux distros here like they uh, i already made like a 1546 videos on uh, different types of uh, linux distros here if you want you can play all or shuffle if you want the specific linux distro you can even type in here or search for example mx linux i'm taking mx linux as an example here and you will be having a latest version whether it's a alpha version development version beta version or a daily build the latest version will be available as soon as the iso file is available for me i'm going to make a content on it so you don't need to wait for anything uh, you can directly visit my channel or you can be subscribe if you want it's clearly up to you so again i think uh, let's go to about i'm going to post two videos daily so i already made a video another video on a manjaro linux 22.0.5 so if you want you can check that out too i'm not going to miss any day i'm going to post every day i'm posting from almost 5 to 6 years i didn't miss any day i just missed like a 2 to 3 days that's it almost in you know, 5 years and here is the timings you need to visit at this timing the videos will be available before the timings because i am going to uh, post it as a premiere so you will be having an idea of what is the videos available or the content available that day so that's it for the video i think that's it so let's close it down and shut it down again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out